Let's now jump into the different types of research we have. And in this case, I'm going to go very quickly. Your research is going to be one of these types. Which type? I don't know. But anyway, one of these types. The first type is going to be empirical. Now, empirical is probably the type you're doing. If you're a college student, if you're a PhD student, a master's degree student, you're probably doing empirical work. This means that you're doing some kind of original research. You're actually looking at source material. You're doing some kind of test, a survey. You're doing some kind of experimentation in a lab. If you do an empirical study, then the parts of your thesis or the parts of your research paper would include things like an introduction, a methodology section, a results section, and a discussions session. So I think it's really important that we just take some time to look at this. These are your main sections right here. So you're going to have introduction, methodology, results, and discussion. So we're talking about four main sections. Now it's possible to add more subsections. It's even possible to break these sections into more sections. For example, discussion could include some other ideas like future or weaknesses. Introduction could include your literature review. It most certainly does, but is that a separate section? Well, maybe, maybe not. Depends on your school, depends on your requirements, it depends on what you need to graduate. But we can say for sure empirical studies have these main parts. Very quickly then, let's go over them again. Here we go. And I want you to keep this in mind, very important. Introduction. Your introduction is going to include your literature review. It tells where did the problem come from, what's the research that came before this problem, what leads up to it. Method, methodology. This is going to tell how did you execute your research. What are the methods you use for this. And then results, what is the outcome, what is the actual data that comes out. And then discussion. What do the results mean? What is the strength of the results? What's the weaknesses of the result? And what do these results mean to the future? All of that can go inside of discussion. Literature review research. A literature review research is a little bit different. Literature review focuses on collecting information that's already been published. Nothing new. It's going to be totally focused on existing. It's basically going to say what's happened up until now. This can include things like defining and clarifying what is the issue, what is the problem. It also can include summarizing. So all of these research papers, all of these books that have been published before, maybe videos that were made, maybe documentary movies that were made, all of these things are maybe tens or hundreds or, or more. You can pull them all together to come up with some main ideas so that I, the reader who's interested in this topic, do not have to go search for all of those. You identify relationships, contradiction, gaps, and inconsistencies in the lecture, in the literature. And basically you're trying to come up with a kind of system. So that's this idea of some kind of relation among all of this information. Kind of like, okay, I've got all this information, what does it mean? 50 articles, uh, 90 articles, and 25 books. What do they mean? It may not mean just one thing. It may mean two or three things, or it may go into different categories. But that's the goal of a literature review research uh, paper or thesis. Lastly, you'll suggest steps in the future that can be done to help clarify the area or help the literature move forward to make more of a contribution. Usually for students, you would not be doing a literature review research. Literature review is part of your research. One part of your research, your introduction, is literature review. But your whole research literature review, usually not. Now if you're in the area like history or other humanities, it's more likely. But usually this would be people who are already full-time researchers, basically, because it's not a very uh, applied in that way. Okay, theoretical articles. Now, theoretical articles are going to be a bit tougher. 
theoretical articles are going to be looking at the existing research and trying to really advance the theory, come up with some theory improvement or new theory. So these would often be related to mathematics, uh, physics, these kinds of more theory-driven fields. They review theory, they expand on it, they refine it, and they analyze it.